that's a backwards E, E, Q, M, okay? And we talked about in class, if I have KC, yes, I, I can get the concentrations at equilibrium, provided I, I know what I started with, okay? So initial, they gave me initial concentrations, and then they gave me um, KC, and now they want me to find my concentrations of everything at equilibrium, okay? This is um, something that maybe you could make a flashcard for. If I were a student, I guess I would make a flashcard saying, if I were given one, initial concentrations, two, KC, and I was asked for the concentrations at equilibrium, that means I solve this using an ice table. I, C, E, okay? I'm going to set this up the same way we showed you in class. Um, I just means initial, C stands for change, and E stands for equilibrium. We're going to have to do some algebra in order to get this answer. We might have to do a whole lot of algebra in order to get this answer, okay? But sometimes it works out nicely and we don't have to. Let's see if this one is the case. Um, okay, so we have, uh, we have initial concentration, actually I already know we don't have to use quadratic, so this was a bad example, but I'll follow this up with a video where we do use the quadratic. Anyway, um, we have the initial concentrations written. Now the change is really simple. That's where you just say, okay, how many moles of hydrogen gas do I start with? I have one mole, and that's a reactant, so I'm losing it. One mole is the same thing as one X, and I'm losing it, it's a reactant, so I put a negative. So here, I have how many moles of iodine? one mole as well, one mole, one mole. These are both reactants, these are both going to be negative x. My change for both of my reactants, I don't know what the change is, but I know that it's going to be negative and I know that they're both going to be the same change. So negative x, negative x, and I'm going to solve for that, okay? Then um, on this side I have my products and I gain two moles, so I'm going to put plus two x, I gain two moles of product. These are my stoichiometric coefficients, okay? So at equilibrium, I basically just have my initial concentration of reactant minus whatever I lost, right? That's what I have at equilibrium. And same thing for iodine. I have my initial concentration minus whatever I lost, which is just X because I don't know what I lost yet, okay? And then for um, my product, I have my initial concentration, which is zero, plus whatever I gain, which is plus 2x, or I'm just going to write 2x, okay? Now, I know that at equilibrium, I can use the notation, the equilibrium constant. I can use Kc, and Kc is equal to what? It's equal to, um, excuse me, it's equal to hydrogen iodide gas <coughs> squared, because there's a 2 here, divided by my concentration, sorry, it's concentration of hydride, hydrogen iodide gas, divided by my concentration of hydrogen gas times my concentration of iodine gas, okay? So that's the equilibrium, Kc, and I know that Kc is equal to 54.3, and I also know that the concentration of product is equal to 2x. I know the concentration of reactants is equal to 0.5 minus x, okay? So I'm actually going to plug all that in. I'm going to say now, um, 54.3 is equal to 2x squared. Now notice I put the 2x again. I, I'm going to say this 100 times. I put 2x in parentheses because a lot of you forgot to square both the 2 and the x. Okay, so it's really important to make sure to put, just like you see these brackets here, it's the entire concentration of hydrogen iodide that's squared. Therefore, I put the entire you know representation of the concentration in parentheses squared divided by, I have 0.5 minus x, 0.5 minus x, again I put that in parentheses as well, times the concentration of iodine, uh, which is 0.5 minus x, 0.5 minus x, okay? I'm going to carry this on on the next page, and I'm going to simplify. Now I have 54.3 is equal to... Uh, 2x in parentheses squared divided by, now I'm going to go ahead and do this, 0.5 minus x squared. Do you see why? Here, I have 0.5 minus x for my concentration of hydrogen. I have 0.5 minus x for my concentration of iodine. So I'm just going to put these two together and write, hold us, 
0 0.5 minus x, all of that squared. And the reason I did that, and you can note here, if my initial concentrations are the same, it's going to be easy to solve, okay? The reason I did that is because now, in order to solve this, I'm going to use a different color. <clears throat> in order to solve this algebraically, something is squared on the bottom and something is squared on the top. So can I take the square root of both sides in order to solve? Yes, now you see how I just got rid of that squared? It was really easy. I just took the square root of the top, the square root of the bottom. I wound up with 2x on the top and 0.5 minus x on the bottom. And that's equal to whatever the square root of 54.3 is going to be, which uh, I don't have a calculator near me, but um, I'm going to cheat and go ahead and look at the book. Uh, 7.37, yay, 7.37, there. Okay, so we have 7.37 is equal to 2x divided by 0.5 minus x, okay? Now, this was another thing that confused some of you guys, is okay, wait, how am I going to solve and get rid of that denominator? Just because you see two terms, remember from last year, um, first of all, let's go over a mistake. Do not, under any circumstances, cancel out your x. Remember, this is 0.5 minus x. I have two terms on the bottom. I cannot cancel anything here. The only thing I can do is I can multiply both sides by 0.5 minus x. Uh, 0 0.5 minus x. The reason being because now my denominators will fully cancel. Okay? So what I wind up with here is 7.37, and again, I don't have a calculator, so I'm just going to write it out, 7.37 times 0 0.5, okay, and that'll be minus 7.37x equals 2x, okay? Now, how am I going to go ahead and solve for x? I'm going to add a 7.37x to both sides so that I can get all my x's on one side, um, and that's going to give me 9.37x equals whatever this 7.37 times 0 0.5 is, okay? And now my last step is just in order to solve, <clears throat> I want to get x all by himself, right? So I'm going to say divide both sides by 9.37, divide this side by 9.37, okay? And on my calculator, I'm going to come up to the top here now, x on my calculator is going to be equal to 7.37 times 0 0.5 divided by 9.37. Okay, that will give you x. Is that my answer? Is that my answer? The, no. <laughs> It's a big bet no. Here, before you finish, please always remember to read the, read the wanted again. You see how we had a wanted table? What did I want? I wanted the concentration of hydrogen. I wanted the concentration of iodine. And I wanted the concentration of hydrogen iodide all at equilibrium. When I found X, look at my ice table, what did I actually find? I only found the change. That's the change. Whatever this answer gives you here, which uh, according to the book, it's 0.393 molarity. That's the change in concentration. I'm going to go ahead and write it in. 0.393 molarity. Okay. This is just the change in concentration. That actually doesn't give me my answer. Now I have to figure out what my answer is. For hydrogen gas, remember that at equilibrium, I had my initial concentration minus the change, which is 0.5 minus x. So I actually have 0.5 minus 0.393. That gives me my concentration, okay? Iodine was the same thing. I had 0 0.5 molarity minus 0 0.393 molarity, okay? And hydrogen iodide, my product, I didn't have any to start with. So I actually had 0 plus 2 times the concentration. Remember, it was 2x here because there's a stoichiometric coefficient. So I was making double. So I have 2 times 0.393, OK? So what I wind up getting for my answer, I'm going to put it in green, is that for hydrogen gas, my initial concentration was 0 0.1. 0, 7 molarity, that was my initial concentration for hydrogen, okay? And then my initial concentration for iodine is the same exact thing. Why? Again, look at your equation, it makes sense. 
The stoichiometric coefficients are the same. I have the same proportions. And I started with the same initial concentration. So my concentration of iodine at equilibrium is 0 0.107, same as the hydrogen. Um, so that's the hydrogen gas and the iodine gas. And now for my products, um, I wind up with 0 0.786 molarity. Okay, that's that concentration. This is one of the easy ones to solve. Um, and there are more practice problems in the book. I'm going to actually probably post something on the blog so you can practice the questions in your book on this. But please remember to always, A, ask yourself, what am I given and what do I want? That'll tell you how you solve one of these questions. And then, B, you have to ask yourself in the end, after you even do all the solving, if you do an ice table, X is not the final answer. You still have to come up with the final answer. Okay? So make sure you're answering the question. If they ask you for what do I want, then this is what you give them. Okay? Um, I think this is going to be way too long to put on YouTube. I might have to cut this video up, so let's see. All right, bye-bye.